Hi there, my name is Dr. Jay Brightwell and I'm one of the chiropractors at New Leaf Chiropractic. Uh, if you wonder why I'm talking to you from down the floor, we're going to get down on the ground in a little bit and we're going to do some core strength videos. But what I want to talk about first of all is what's core strength and why it's important. So we've got my friend Mr. Stein here and you've got these things called vertebra that come right up your back. Most people are familiar with that. What happens is when you get really, really weak or you've been the recipient of stress in your life, what happens is frequently you'll store those stresses in your spine. Now, when you've got really strong core muscles, these muscles here don't have to work so hard. As a chiropractor, my job is to put those bones back in place to take the pressure off the nerves. And that's all well and good, but how do you get those to hold? If these muscles are working so hard all the time, it makes it really, really difficult for these bones to stay in place. So one of the things that we talk about frequently if we talk about having really good core muscles. And so these core muscles that are out here, when they get strong, these small muscles here, they don't have to do the work anymore. So I'm a big, big, big fan of, of, of chiropractic, I'm a chiropractor, um, but I'm a big fan of the chiropractic adjustment holding for a long time. So that adjustment, again, will hold, especially when you're working on these transverse abdominus muscles and the rectus abdominus muscles, AKA your core. So. Again, the reason why is no longer do you have to carry all the stress from your body right down your spinal cord, right down your vertebra. Instead, you can carry it all the way up to the side on your core. So, uh, my all-time favorite core strength exercise is just to stay there, but it's just a bridge. So, really simple. Just get in the floor, and I'll, I'll, I'll teach you the cheats also. But the most basic one is you're just holding on your elbows, to your feet and you want to try and hold that uh, 30 seconds 60 seconds work up to 90 seconds now when if you're just starting off it's been a long time since you've been to the gym and I get that uh, it can be very difficult to go from your toes to your elbows so then the next thing is you can start with you can go knees to elbows so what that looks like is just right there and you don't want to be doing this thing you don't want to be doing this thing either you want to be as straight as possible. And you can get really straight when you get all the way out like that. Now, you can change the degree of difficulty as you get a little bit more advanced with this. And it's the positioning of your elbows. So the closer they are towards your belly button, the easier. The further away that they get out towards the top of your head, then the more challenging the exercise is. Let me demonstrate. Easy. Hard. Easy, hard. I don't know if that fit in the screen, but you get the idea, right? So those, those are my, that's my favorite one for the rectus abdominis muscles. My next favorite is hard work, <laughs> talking and exercising. <clears throat> How do people run and talk at the same time? So my next favorite one is to go onto your side. So you're just going to go to your elbow, and you're just going to go on your side like this. Again, the cheat is going to be to drop down to your knees. It's not a cheat. It's, just, it's a place to start. And the advanced location is here. Now you can make this really challenging. You can do things with your arms. You can grab weights. But just try and start here. That's my, that's my recommendation for the best place to start. And then you can flip that over. Actually, you can, you should flip that over to both sides. So here's the other side of what that looks like. And again, if you want to make it more challenging, you can <laughs> take that arm further out. Make it easier, closer to your body. Again, if you want to make it dynamic and move your arms and do all sorts of stuff, you can do that also. <clears throat> so, if you're going to do the front, do the sides. If you're going to do one side, always do both sides. Those are my favorite core strengthening exercises. One thing that you can do frequently also, I'm going to grab a little ball here. You see these guys at the gym? A great way to work in your core strength day to day is to get out of a chair and do your homework, <laughs> computer work, and a ball like this. This is just a regular physio ball. You can get these on Amazon for, I don't know, 20 or 30 bucks. And the bigger they are, the easier it is. The smaller they are, the more like wobbly it is. But if you're doing your work on here, you're going to be engaged your core muscles all day instead of just using the chair. So that's one thing. If you actually want to work out on a core ball, you sure can. You can get back and you can start doing some crunches. You don't need to move your body too terribly much when you're doing crunches on the physio ball. It doesn't take much more than an inch or two to really start engaging your core. You can see me shaking when I come up to the top there. 
the further and further your fulcrum is away from your belly button and towards the top of your spine, towards your neck, the more challenging it is versus like sitting up here. Anybody can do this when your fulcrum's down here. But that fulcrum is nice and high like this. That's really, really hard on your body and it's a really, really great exercise. So if you missed the start, here it is one more time. The reason why we want to do this is it takes the takes this pressure off the spine the axially and puts the pressure out in the core muscles. One thing that I tell my clients who are working on the core muscles and maybe the adjustments aren't holding for whatever reason, I say, well, so you worked out at the gym last week or yesterday? Okay, you worked out yesterday, great. So is your, are your abs sore today or is your core sore today? And if the answer is no, you likely could have worked harder and your, 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 your endurance is going up, your strength is going up. So you do need to, you're doing the, the bridges Right, front and side bridges. You have 30 seconds and you're not sore. You probably need to go to 60 seconds. If you're at if your knees, you probably need to go to your toes. If you're at your toes and you're there for 90 seconds and you're and you're still not sore the next day, then you've come a long way. And that's a really great sign. But then what you want to do is now you want to maybe get somebody in the gym with you. And you can also have them start stacking 10-pound plates on your back also. If you're trying to increase the degree of difficulty. If you have questions about the spine, if you have questions about core strength what chiropractic can do for you, please feel free to reach out to us at 303-776-6767. I'm Dr. Jay Brightle with New Leaf Chiropractic and Family Wellness, and thanks for having me today.